Sours, they represent a style that really go to the core of the genesis and origins of beer. Before we had microscopes, it was considered a mysterious and magical the way that beer transformed from a sweet liquid into beer. What they later learned was that yeast and microflora were floating through the air and inoculating the beer in these open vats, and they would barrel age these beers. In beers that we barrel age, the wild yeast strains will form residency almost in these barrels, so we'll continue to recycle these barrels. The beer will evolve over time, and we'll blend the beers together from different barrels. When did you start aging your beer in barrels? So we started home brewing, and we aged our beers for some of our first wild beers that we made. And what does aging do for a beer? Because a lot of beer you want to drink right away and drink it fresh. It just depends on the style of beer that you're approaching. For IPAs, you want to make very fresh beer and consume it very fresh. With other beers, like uh, Lambics and Sours, you can age them anywhere from two months all the way to three, four, five years. For some wow, beers. really? Yeah. And so how long have these been in the barrel? These have been aging for one year, six months. The style of beer that we're working with will determine at what points in time that we include citrus into the beer. In the case of these barrel-aged beers, we'll add a citrus zest, in some cases citrus juice, at the very end of secondary fermentation. We'll leave it with barrels for at least a month to two months, and the yeast have this really magical way of incorporating the citrus into the beer, and it becomes part of the beer. It's exciting that you've been able to capture and harness what it is that each strain of yeast is able to add to the beers that you're trying to make. Yeah, so in a sense, you're wrangling the yeast the same as you would cattle. Brewers, they are more of janitors or, or maintaining clean environments. It really is the yeast who are the brewers, the ones making the beer.